Good morning, Buffalo. Brian Hayden here with Visit Buffalo Niagara on another episode of Buffalo Live. We took a field trip about 25 minutes southeast of Buffalo this morning to uh, one of the great uh, Christmas time traditions here, Vidler's Five and Dime. It's been here since 1930 in the village of East Aurora. Main Street East Aurora looks like something straight out of a Frank Capra film this morning. The, the snow is falling, uh, just a beautiful Christmas time postcard scene. But Vidler's here is one of the great spots to do some last minute Christmas shopping. We're looking for some last minute Christmas ideas this morning. So let's take a look inside and see what we find. We'll go inside here, see who's here. Oh my gosh, Don Vidler, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for having us here this morning. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit more about the history of Hitler's Five and Dime. Well, the store opened in 1930 by my granddad, so we're going actually going on our 87th year coming up, and we've been in continuous operation since then. It's grown a lot over the years, so it's much bigger now. Um, until proven otherwise, we claim that we're the largest five and ten variety store in the world. No one's challenged us yet. Largest five and ten variety store in the world. Uh, how many items do you have here on sale at Vidler's? Conservatively, we say over seventy-five thousand. If we count up every single skew and color and size and assortment, so it's a lot of stuff. Uh, we'd like to say there's it's virtually twelve stores under one roof, and we have practical day-to-day -day necessities and also a lot of fun, quirky, interesting things. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we're a week and a half out from Christmas here. Uh, if I was looking for some kind of fun, quirky item for a last-minute Christmas gift, what are some ideas you have for me, Don? I just happen to have here a few items to show you. Um, yodeling pickle, very popular. We have those in stock. They go quick, though. The uh, more of a, a traditional items, the Saratoga sweets, the peppermint pigs, that's a very popular item at Christmas time, too. If you want to have a masquerade party or just a, any kind of party, we have masquerade masks, Mona Lisa, for example, that I'm wearing. Uh, Christmas time, if you're a fan of the movie Christmas Story, the classic, we have Oh Fudge Fudge. And if you know that scene in the movie, you'll know this. We've got a fair amount of that in stock right now. Uh, in particular for you music fans, this might be an item for you, Brian, is the nose flute. Classic item. We have a lot of those, but they're all fun stocking stuffer. You know me so well, Don. <laughs> and duck feet, if you're bored and want to entertain yourself, we have little duck feet to go on your fingers. Um, and of course, if you're a fan of Saturday Night Live from the 80s, we have Mr. Bill, we have Gumby, Pokey, a lot of different rubber figurines, uh, and also we have Marvel action heroes, things like that. Not that it's a shameless plug for the store, but we do have rubber spatulas with a wooden handle that happen to have a Viddler's logo on it, but these, a lot of people like these instead of silicone spatulas. And for the Buffalo fan, we've got a butter lamb ornament, beef on weck ornament, and a buffalo ornament. We also have chicken wing ornaments in flats and drums. I know people are particular about that. And then one of our classic items that does very well is Spirograph. We have larger versions, small versions, we, and we have yo-yos and pop guns and uh, silly putty, things like that. And last but not least, for the hunter, the outdoorsman, deer season's just finished up, but we've got the uh, deer caddy wine holder. So that might be something to consider. But we like to say this is Stocking Stuffer Central. And for those desperate souls, not going to name any names that show up on December 24th at 4 p.m., we have some things that you could find for Christmas. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, that's quite a roundup here. Um, tell me, I mean, you guys are going to be quite busy here the next week and a half. Uh, tell me a little bit more uh, about what's going on here this weekend. Yeah, this Saturday is actually Easter's 44th annual Carol, annual Carol Cade, and it's a wonderful community event and tradition. Um, we're actually trying to shoot for an official Guinness World Record for most carolers outside. Uh, we think unofficially broken in the last few years of this year. We're going to try and meet all their criteria, and uh, we'll close Main Street for two blocks in front of the store. It's at 7 p.m. this Saturday night, the 17th, and the weather, even if it's snowy and cold, that brings people out. We could have 2,000, 2,500 people singing Christmas carols for an hour. Santa's there. They're giving out candy canes, hot chocolate donuts for as long as they last. Uh, it's a wonderful night to be in East Aurora. Absolutely, absolutely. And what are your hours uh, until Christmas time? We'll be open from now through December 23rd from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. every day, Monday through Saturday. And on Sundays, we're always open from 11 to 5. And the evening's a great time to come out. Um, the other stores, the windows are decorated, lights are on. There's a lot of great restaurants and pubs in East Aurora within literally 100 yards of our front door. So there's a lot to see here and do. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, uh, make sure, Buffalo, to include this on your Christmas list uh, before uh, Christmas next Sunday. Uh, Don, thanks so much for joining us here this morning. Really appreciate your time. Yep. Thank you, Brian. And to you and all your fans and listeners and viewers, a very Merry Christmas from everyone at Vidler's, everyone in Buffalo. We appreciate it. Excellent.
Absolutely, absolutely. Merry Christmas, Buffalo. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. And we'll see you next time. Uh, for Visit Buffalo Niagara and Buffalo Live, I'm Brian Hayden.